Hello, I'm Susan Kosnitsky. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to create atmosphere and depth when painting a sky using my favorite pastel, Sennelier. Although all pastels are made by blending dry pigment with a non-greasy agent, in my demo I plan to show you that not all pastels are created equally. There are varying degrees of hardness depending on the amount of pigment in the stick. The softer the pastel, the more pigment. I started my long-running love affair with pastels in the mid-1980s. I used many different brands, but in this video, I will demonstrate why my first love is Sennelier and why after all these years, they still rate number one for me. Painting with Sennelier soft pastels is like painting with butter. Back in the mid-80s when I discovered Sennelier pastels, you could only get them via direct order from New York or France. Today, thanks to Savoir Faire and Blick, we can get all different size sets in American art supply stores readily and easily. Let's get started with our demo today on how to paint a sky. This photo was taken on the Oregon coast. The image is an example of a slightly hazy late in the day atmosphere. In step one, I lightly draw out the image using very light gestural lines, creating a road map for myself. I am using a Krita Color Light Ochre Pastel Pencil, and I am paying attention to my composition. The lower I place the horizon line, the more it will appear to recede in the distance. In step two, I will be applying local color using light to medium touch with hard and soft pastels to cover the paper with one layer of color. I use different colors in the sky that are the same value, starting at the top. Skies can range from blue to gray to purple to green even. The sky is a darker blue, sometimes violet, in the foreground or the top of the painting and continue to get lighter and cooler as they recede toward the horizon. The color gets less intense and the value gets lighter. In step three, I'm using Gamsol, which is a mineral spirit, as a solvent to moisten the pastels and create a paint-like quality. Basically, I am staining the paper. This gives me a good base of color to build upon without filling the tooth of the paper. Before it dries, I can wipe off some of the color for those wispy clouds. To allow me to build up multiple layers on top of an underpainting, I am using a sanded paper. Once the underpainting dries, I can begin step four, which is applying layers of hard and soft pastel blending as I go. One of the many things I love about pastels is the ability to mix colors directly on the painting. You can blend your colors completely or leave more strokes showing depending on your personal preference and style. Another important thing to remember in pastel painting is that it is best to work from dark to light. And keep in mind that warm colors advance as cool colors recede. This can be seen in painting the cliffs. I use darker, stronger colors in the closer cliffs and the colors fade out like they did in the sky colors as the cliffs recede. This is how I create atmospheric perspective. Step five. At this point, I begin refining my shapes and softening edges. Lost and found edges are especially important for distance. This is where the Sennelier soft pastels will be used to create the thicker, stronger colors. and the pastel pencils will be used to lightly blend the colors without losing the color. The pencils are also wonderful to help soften edges. This is a back and forth process that continues on until I feel like I have completed the painting. 
Well, thank you for joining me today on my demo on painting skies. I hope it was enjoyable and I hope to see you again. And here's the finished painting. Again, I'm Susan Kuznitsky and I enjoyed sharing my process with you. Check out below on my Blick Featured Artist page where you can find out more information about me. The products I used in this demo are also listed there and at dickblick.com.